So this is for student men's Cox Fours. It is the Prince Albert Challenge Cup. 16 racing at the Regatta, 34 entries. Relatively recent event in 2006. Who have we got? Well, we have got the men from Durham University on the far side. And on this uh, right-hand side of the course, it is the men from Brown University, USA. Brown, of course, in Rhode Island, is that right? Uh, that Peel? is correct, they're in Providence, Rhode Island. Uh, and here we have this live shot, uh, and you can see that Brown has managed to, to stretch out a little bit of a lead. Uh, there's still a lot of race left to determine the outcome, but right now it looks like that Brown boat has set their rhythm and are ready to continue that down the course. Uh, row on the Seacock River down in Rhode Island. I did read somewhere that nobody wants to come down and race Brown because the river's sort of really swirly and got lots of currents on it. Uh, this is true. Uh, you know, I, 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 I sometimes, you know, think about going down to, to watch some watch some practices, uh, but uh, you have to have to sometimes have some seasick pills. There we see a fantastic shot of the uh, Cox, VJ Ramakrishnan, uh, hometown Collegeville, uh, Philadelphia. And uh, he is really giving it his all in terms of instructions to his crew who are leading this race against their opposition from Durham University. And one thing these four guys, or five guys, I guess it is from Brown University with the Cox, they won't have underestimated their opponents from Durham University. Yeah, and that's the thing. You really need to, no matter where you are on this course, you need to be aware of where your where your competitors are, because things can change quickly. And here we have a shot of Durham University, uh, and you know they they got it behind at the start, and that can be all the difference in this race. Will Nicholson up in the bows, Alfie Dean, Harvey McLean in the three seat as the camera pulls out. We saw Owen Billings in the stroke seat. Just didn't quite get a look at Rachel Roberts, the 20-year-old who's a second-year law student at Durham University in the Cox's seat. And, you know, I think it's one of the themes of this regatta, Akil, that US crews have come here and they've got the better of British universities crews. You know, and we've seen it yesterday, a lot of British university crews, all of University of London's crews are out. They, their first eight raced, I think it was Syracuse, was it, in the first round? And here we see another British university falling victim to an American university. What's going well, on? Well, uh, for us, this is a very special regatta, you know, because the, the, the cost of coming over and preparing your crew. So a lot of times when, when, when the crews that do come over have had really good seasons mm. and are feeling uh, as though they can be competitive. And so it's really great to make this trip worthwhile, race as long as you can. And so that's what you're seeing, I think, in, in a lot of these crews. Yeah, and I think the thing we should say about the Durham crew, OK, Durham University's got a very strong program, but basically this is a development crew. It's a beginner's crew. All yeah. these guys have been rowing for, you know, six, seven, eight months. They have been over the moon because they qualified for this regatta. And, um, you know, it's a big deal. And I think for them just to be in this regatta is an amazing achievement. And, you know, on their Palmares, they will say, we raced at Henley Regatta, we were there. And, and, and it's there for a lifetime. They will never forget it. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it, it's a special experience to come through qu to qualify for the regatta and have an opportunity to race against, you know, some of the best in the world. So the men from Brown University of Rhode Island, the rating now quite controlled, just dipping under 30 strokes a minute. As they keep the higher rating Durham crew in their sights, they come up past the enclosures, probably about 20 strokes to go. Brown barring mishaps, which I don't think is going to happen in a Cox 4 event. We did see crews crash into the barrier in the last few strokes, notably Cal Barkley in a final of the visitors, but that's not going to happen now. And try as they might, Durham, well, the last few strokes of Henley 2023 are going to be memorable ones. They're coming right back on Brown. The verdict will probably be just over a length, and that'll please Durham, but Brown take that heat of the Prince Albert Challenge Cup from the young men and women of Durham 
The beginners for, they've raced at Henley, they've tasted what it feels like to go head-to-head -head against Liverpool, a Brown University, the Durham University in the Prince Albert.